ultra hit uh, officially the session number three or four here on youtube live what are ultra hits they're very hard physical feats in this case 1.1 k push-ups 2.1 k jump squats i might do some um, lunges jump lunges also um, and yeah 600 ish uh, jackknife crunches so without further ado i'll give you more background to this but let's get this started uh, what do I have with me here? I have a cookie, two cookies actually, if I bunk in terms of energy. I have a, a list that I'll be checking. Um, so yeah, just to keep track of how much I do. I have a jug of water here in beautiful Mexico. So this is gonna take a while, like probably an hour and a half. Let's get started, I'll give you more context. We're starting with the squats here. I'll do a uh, hundred at a time. I'll be supporting three causes today. This is so hard. The first one is Zulu. It's uh, they basically are solving this world's sanitation problem. More on that later. We'll support them. The second is girls who chronically rock. Uh, they're supporting muscular dystrophy in girls. And the third one is arthritis NZ. So more on these causes later. Let's get back to work. Oh. 
So why am I doing those? Pain is full of wisdom. Lungs on fire right now. Uh, legs on fire too. 2K squats is a big intimidating number. But these legs, if uh, been going through a lot more than that they gave 16 hour uh, runs I do these to raise charity for funds but to challenge myself you know today it's either this or running for two three hours this should take a bit less more time I should sure consume a bit more calories which is why I have the cookies and too much talking or action in that ratio. So, my paper is gone. <laughs> Silly rookie mistake. So, I have to count by myself. Life. I'll grab this camera every set of 100. Uh, I'll write it on my arm. One, two, three, that's three, 300 jump squat. So before I started this bunkerness here, shit happened twice already, even before this workout, but you never give up. First, I got fucking stuck on that roof, closed the door behind me. I had to get in like someone stealing a house. That took like 10 minutes of my time and then the fucking paper that was right there flew by, so now I need to write on my arm how much, because believe it or not, this is hard to track. Your brain, it, uh, in these scenarios, it just loses track. No, the last shit that'll happen is that the sun will go down. So, hmm. I'll figure that one out, no worries. I have battery on that phone. Too much talking, let's get back to work. I'll probably put a shirt on.
I'm my shirtless other than the fact that I don't give a fuck uh, for sun exposure <sighs> vitamin D never shot shortcut your way 400 <sighs> now some of you again might be commenting on my posture I don't give a fuck have you ever done 2000 squats if not on to the next one the same they do with uh, Gagan's videos right I have a trick though um, by the way squats is like the, the easiest part I think the abs would come after and the, the toughest part is the push up because the breathing and muscles you know these pectorals they're not too big and not too trained also for injury it is so a trick for these squats as I drink some water is do them faster once you feel the pain do them faster I'll save you I initially that was there I thought I'd fill it up a bit because this requires a lot of water Also, use your arm. As you can see, I use my arm quite a lot. 500, quarter there. Okay, so last video was on pivots, right? Locked the fuck out of the house here. Found my way. Didn't give up, right? Fucking paper flew by. I have it on my arm now. Where is it? There. Tatting on my skin. Pain. Is there a warrior mark? Maybe I should have it on my face instead. And put the shirt back. I think I'm gonna go shirt best for a while.
Oh. Shit, never gets easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, hundred squats. Yeah. I'm wearing Vibram five fingers for this workout. Very comfortable. Merry fucking Christmas. Seven hundred. A thousand. Three hundred more to go. So far, so good. It's more like the dreaded push-ups, right? I know they're coming for me. I know they are. Eight hundred thousand two hundred more to go. The pen is giving up on me. Just another problem to solve. So another le lesson here guys is don't solve what doesn't need to be solved. Okay, this can wait. Just can wait until a good while, you know? So I take a sip of that every 100 as well. Quite important. Stay hydrated.
And as you can see, these challenges, they're breaking down into smaller pieces, right? So, as you might have seen, I started having a good rhythm here. Um, cardio is not a problem. Heartbeat is at 160. I am 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100 to reach my 100 goal. So let's keep rolling. Four, four, five, One thousand. Merry Christmas. A thousand more to go. And feeling a bit more confident now. You know, uh, I talked in my past videos. about turning points, you know? Turning points, guys. Turning point is like when you have so much momentum, when I have 50% momentum, that the other 50, the back end is really easy. This small sip of water, so I can have more remaining. Let's see, not that one, but the next laughter. Uh, where am I? Uh, 1, 
10,100. I think the shoes really help. Have I worked out today? Uh, yes, I went running the dog twice. Uh, easy peasy, nothing hard. Because, yeah, doing two things, two hard stuff, two hard things per day would be catastrophic. For example, going to the gym. Yeah, wouldn't be good. Just like I had this watch, and then shit, the pen is running out of ink. And then I see a high heart rate, and I'm like, yeah, that is obviously why. Now it was 165, before it was 160, so. I also have a vein that popped here from elbowing my boxing bag and I feel some pain there, which is quite funny, but not enough to have me stop. <laughs> Thousand three hundred. So I'm gonna do for the next one, I'm gonna do hundred fifty, right? That's gonna be one bar. And the next one after, two bars. So that would be three. And I will go 200, 200 for the last ones to, to make a good show. To make a good show, guys. And then that next 150, it will be perfect to talk about pain I'm gonna give you a nice speech on pain.
So, pain. First, I just found a solution to make the pen work. Put it upside down. That's why I'm telling you guys, I'll never fix problems. I don't need to, to be solved right now. Give the brain some time. Especially if you've got a super brain, they'll find a solution by itself without you overthinking and stressing your way out. So, not sure if I have a good pitch on pain, but uh, first, if it gets easy, impose pain on yourself. The 100 became easy, which is phenomenal. 150, then 200. Second, the type of pain right now is mostly blood rushing to my system at a very rapid pace. No more lung pain, no more muscular pain, although lower back. But when pain shows up to your door, you guys, fucking welcome it. When more pain. That's what makes you grow in life. Four more bars to go, guys. Now, I'll start doing 200. 1,600 jump squats in. My bums are very inflated. I had some wisdom pass me by. But I'm attempting 200 now. Uh, two more 200. What I have ate in today, I had my fair amount of coffee, as usual, which is why I'm high energy. And I had some tostadas with frijol, uh, cheese, and jalapeno sausages. One of my favorite breakfasts nowadays. So fucking good. And light and digestible. Uh, that with some dessert. I love having my dessert. You know why? Because I fucking deserve it. See me now? It's me working. Me burning.
Holy fuck. Ah. Ah. Sheesh. When my brain stops, holy shit. Do to uh, starting to feel some ankle pain, a bit dizzy. 166 speeds per minute. Right. So lesson number one, have a couple actually, until we go with the last 30. The first one is be patient, okay? I'm patient. I'm taking the phone, talking to you, drinking some water, chilling, chilling guys, and talking like Ryan Gosley from The Short. Is it The Short? One of my favorite movie. Shout out to Ryan for his shitty Barbie movie. Shame on you, Ryan. You had the big short, and yeah, the big short is more like it. And then you had fucking Blade Runner, and then your downfall. Any man can fall, guys. You're only as good as your last success. Always push yourself, that's why I do those. Okay, so be patient. Another, another lesson, guys, is that a bunch of humans, they underestimate not only what they can do over long term, uh, but they, they kind of forget like about adaptation. Started at 100, then 150, then 200. Very quick adaptation in the matter of minutes, guys. So how can a human improve over time? Another lesson that came to my mind is, first, I won't call it vulnerability, but be an open book, okay? So I forgot to tell you, but when I was fucking locked outside, <laughs> I had to pull out glass of the fucking window. So at least I didn't cut myself. So that was my first preoccupation or falling because I was on a step. Very creative solution, right? I'm always impressed with my brain. And I, I got myself in, so I succeeded, but I fucking broke a glass. And the parents of my wife, I know how they are uh, with, with money, you know, and even my parents actually, my parents that have cash, a bunch of people there, they're like, oh, yeah. Anyway, it's not about them, it's about me. Then I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna cause anxiety here. But then I'm, I'm gonna have to pay, you know? So first, be an open book. I'm being an open book right now with you. And money, money, you know? Money brings stress into me. I wasn't brought with the, the right mindset with money. Just, just like, 99% of humans out there. I mean, imagine my parents, they have money, right? And they freak out about money. Everyone freaks the fuck out with money. Um, anyway, so that went through my mind. And then I had empathy towards myself. Um, so be open-minded like a book and have empathy towards yourself, towards others, always. Last 200 before it gets dark. By the way, my legs are hurting. No shit, Charles.
we're done. Ah. Ah. Beautiful. When you accomplish, guys, fucking celebrate without the alcohol. So I just saw my my iPhone go to a, a color adaptation, or is it YouTube? Holy shit! There's a lot of mosquitoes here. Uh, I think I'll go down, else I'll have my uh, ass bitten. So, basically, I'm done with the squats part. It took me 40 minutes, which is surprisingly good. I think last time it was like 50. So, definitely some improvement here. One, two, done. Squats are done. So, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna show you the glass that I broke in my step parents' house. I have a sip of water before. And I just spill it all over myself. So, not sure how that arm is going to react to the push-ups, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's weird pain. Push-ups, last time I did them was in 50. So my arm will look like this, uh, too, because I'm doing a 1,000. So we're going down. My stepsister asked me to bring down some clothes just before going. I am gonna do this as a nice step brother. So, ding dang dong. Uh, responsibilities, guys. Never ever fail on your responsibilities, even if they suck. If you even if you don't like doing them. Let them become a habit. Now, the challenge is me getting down without spilling a fucking muscle. And I can show you what I broke. Oh. I, think I didn't forget anything up there. So what I broke is this. So. Yeah, it's right there. It's broken. All right, so we're back inside. And there's a cat on the table. All right, so I'm gonna set myself up here with some light. Mm, let's see here. Oh, this this is my new pain cave now. So not sure if you can see. New pain cave. The push-ups will be especially painful. Trust me on that. So, with push-ups, just as in uh, 
This doesn't squat is the speed. So I'm one bar in. The thing with push-ups though is that thing is with uh, with push-ups they don't get easier they get harder it's a different type of muscle it's a muscle I train less that will give me the opportunity to talk with you uh, what I will do also with push-ups I will cheat I will go and boil a tea possibly even some protein to give me energy that is a smart right there. I will cheat you guys, I'm a cheater. Um, I think, uh, yeah, after that, before I do, before I cheat, I will, it's gonna rain here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna crunch a couple of more push-ups and I'm gonna tell you about these charities. I think it's the right time. <sighs> so speed. better time to talk as well there's no wind so a bit more lessons now that I'm 100 push, uh, 100 push-ups in not giving a fuck guys is important so do I care like uh, my wife and my family sometimes they're ashamed to show this house you know it's a house it protects from rain and the elements and completes all the functions of a house. Do I give a fuck? No. Do I give a fuck telling you that I have my wedding coming and my friends are disappointing me? My friends are, hmm, they're stressing me? Uh, no, I don't, no. My relationship with my friends is complicated because I, sort of let that go in the last couple of years it's not been the best friend i have been honorable but we all have issues that we're fixing you know <sighs> stuff that we're dealing with be transparent And without further ado, let's go for a tea, shall we? I'm gonna have three drinks here. Um, one is water. Another will be protein. And the last one will be some, some tea. If I can find. Something to cook it in. Oops. Uh, let's go with while my brain searches. Let me fill in on more lessons. as well I run around to heat it I run around to make the tea and 
Here we go making a mess again. 150 push-ups in. For those of you that are push-uppers, you know, you know the pain, the pectoralis pain that I'm feeling. Have a sip of water. I'm gonna go get check back on my tea in a moment. And gotta drink some more water. So as you can see guys, what I'm doing right now is I'm separating in micro steps again. Oh, stop drinking some water for like two rounds. And you can see the effect on me. The pause typically will be bigger and bigger. It will be smaller. So bear with me here. Mm. As <clears throat> my stomach is digesting it. Painful guys, painful as in painful. I can't find the fucking pen. Oh, there's a kitty cat attacking a cockroach. Or is it a cockroach? I think it's a lizard. Um, the fuck have I done with the pen? Challenges of these, these weird ass events. Losing the blue pen. Check. Let's replace the fucking pen at this point with a better pen. Ooh, that one is way better. It's in black, my favorite color. Let's get done with the fifth set. So, surprisingly, we're done with the first set of four. I am as surprised as you are, if you're even surprised, that this went as easy selling than it did. I didn't expect it to be that easy. All right. So preparing my, my tea here. We're gonna go with Siete Asaharis. This is for digestion and a little Sancho. One reason. Oof, that is hot. One, one reason why I wanted to do this event as well is, I mean, for physical purposes, you can see like my arm already 
Uh, I'm in skiing mode, by the way. No, I'm not in book mode, but my wedding is coming. And my suit is a bit bigger. I'm gonna have it adjusted. It's a bit bigger than intended, so push-ups are really great for that. And without further ado, sip of water and the six set out of 20. Doing well, guys. Can you see the mystery the cat? Mystery cat is so gentle. final right there the clap I love finishing my push-ups in a clappy way it's like a, it's a self high five so here here is how my arm is looking I think I'm uh, I'll start a trend right there um, Selfless shout out to my business. Certified grit. So certified grit guys is what I'm doing right now with you. It's an ultra hit. It's done from home. You don't need to be rich to do it. You need to be super ambitious though. Have these goals set up for you it's a bunch of ceos a bunch of founders like myself getting on these zoom calls and crunching the shit out of these workouts as warriors do the connection went out so we're now we're six minutes in and I'm not gonna lose this pen again I want to address a quick point here um, who can do these types of workouts obviously I'm in good shape already I've already done a bunch of these before not like in the shape i want to be obviously i have huge goals uh, i'd like to compete in various sports i'm not right now i'm competing in the sports of business whoever can do these workouts the real question guys is in how much time in how much pain right how much time how much pain quantity quality Shit keeps disconnecting, so let's see. Shit. Here we go again. Whew. This is hard. How much pain for how long? Anyone can do these workout. So for how long? Neil probably take me around an hour. Now we're at this rhythm. Let's see. An hour forty-five minutes. Um. If you're fat, if you're out of shape, if you've got a weak mind, 
and they all pretty much go together. Um, it'll take you 10 hours, 10 fucking hours. You can do the push up on your knees like a bitch. Um, that you can do, you don't have to do the jump squat. You can squat normally and the jack knives. Um, you can do normal sit-ups. But guess what, guys? I tried a full thing. Until muscle failure, that is, and or injury, if you feel like a weird pain, you stop, obviously. Um, muscle failure is like, yeah, your muscle cannot lift you up anymore. Like mine. Hmm. Scientifically, I mean, I don't train pecs that much or on an endurance level. But see that my last rep, they were about to give up. You know, I couldn't have gone for, I don't know, 65 or... So, how much pain, how much time? Now, we address the time. The pain, if you haven't trained your brain for pain, it's, it's like a new sensation, right? It's this thing that is highly uncomfortable. You think you're going to die. You think you're going to shit your pants. You think... Uh, the world is gonna end, you think you're not good, you think you're, your mind will fuck with you big time if you haven't done that before. So, my pain tolerance is quite high, yours is quite low. So, I mean, odds are, right? You might be a beast. You'll feel nine out of 10 pain. Yes, my seven. That's easier. Cause I, I talked a lot. One important idea of the day. Dude, did I, did I forget my last set? Oh, by the way, let's, let's hear a quick uh, payback time. Cause I said I'd do uh, 2,100 squats. I forgot I did 200, I did 2,000. So payback time. We're not done with the squats, bitch. Oops, you might not see me. See me, see me, see me. Done. Ah, done for real. Cheek. Also, I think I forgot a set of push up. I don't care. Just gonna do it one more time. So, again, don't create problems for yourself. Roll with the punches. And if you forget about the set, just do just do one more. It can only be good for you. No such things as doing too much sport. And it's your fault. Your brain forgot. Forgets you teach it that there's a punishment or reward depending on how you want to view life and things.
So now that I did one of these, crunch another set. forget now to write it down we are 2100 squats in and uh, 500 push-ups in so I think it's a good time to speak about the causes I'm representing today while I make, while I make, while I make, while I make a protein shake to give these push-ups a bit more power. Um, okay, the causes. So, I'm gonna clean. So a little bit. Order the causes, guys. We put some alcohol in these hands to sanitize. Where the alcohol at? No alcohol's good. So for the the causes, the first one, and I'll talk a couple of sets for each. Uh, but we have. Zulu, the level sanitation, pause, guys. Is costing us millions of lives per year. There's this bacteria called cholera, and people talk about clean water, like the one that I'm drinking right now. Um, but they, what they don't know is that people shit in that water in the third world, you know? Uh, children, they imitate dogs and they crap in the streets. Uh, bacteria are like everywhere, right? If you've ever studied bacteria, they're airborne. They, they're surviving machines like you and I. And this means that water is fucked pretty much in a good part of this world. Well, let's clean it. You can donate to Zulu.org. Approaching muscle failure here. And I won't forget to write it down as I take my first sip of protein. So we're 550 push ups in. Again, another turning point in the push up. I'm real confident. Have my protein, have my tea. Never. <clears throat> when you're introducing something new in your body, in the sports of hindrance, go small. Never take a big sip because you might not react well. Your gut might not react well to it. I'm gonna sit for a while here as I ponder this arm. 550 push ups. Is it time to celebrate? Not yet, because it's not done, but it's a hell of an accomplishment, you know? 
Um, it's gonna be a, a thousand one hundred, by the way. Yep, 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 thousand one hundred. So, as you can see, this protein is kicking in. Just took a small sip and it's not necessarily a biochemical reaction that, you know, the muscle fire quick. It's more of a mental one. My brain, it tasted some form of sugar. And it's like, oh, here's energy, you know? I'm gonna give more output for you to try and survive. So, one sip per set. Did I write down or did I forget? I forgot, so I'm just gonna write it down. So that is 600 push-ups. When you look at the bigger picture, guys, this is beautiful, you know? This is where it becomes a masterpiece. This is where you look at billionaires, not from a social perspective or a leftist, woo-woo, um, woke perspective, but just like their big accomplishment, you know? It's micro efforts like that. It's splitting up this huge, accomplishment into these bites <laughs> here goes the cat First sip of tea, feels quite luxurious. Protein is really giving me good energy right now. So, these things, are they pain alleviators? Yeah. What's the point in ultras? <clears throat> If you're gonna alleviate pain, don't you do ultras to feel pain? The answer to that is that however much you try to alleviate pain, it always comes back. That's why you need to have a great relationship with it. Even if you take that protein, eat that cake during an ultra run, pain is gonna catch up on you. And so is it gonna catch up on me, you're gonna see pretty soon. 650 push-ups deep in the pain cave. Seven hundred. The push-ups, surprisingly, are not that hard.
the muscular brain is not there yet. Although I said the same for my squats and now I have like some lower back pain. Rightfully so after 2,100 uh, squat jumps. We're an hour, almost 30 minutes in. And we're going for 800 push-ups. Good explosiveness. As you can see, the speed. I have problems bending my arm now. Must be good. And we are 750 push-ups in. Take a sip and another sip. Got problem. Taking sips now. My arms are like, fuck, son. What you doing, son? You're going for the mythical 800. Explosiveness is there, but whew. explosiveness is there. Let's see the heart rate on that. 146, not too bad. Maybe it's the final clap. Mythical 800. Completo. I love the, doing those because anyone can do them from their home. And, you know, I was about to say, yeah, the, these are free, okay, on uh, YouTube Live. My certified grit group is not it's around a thousand per month per person it's once a week um 10 ish uh, like let's call it more than three uh, ceos showing up for these calls a strategy with that is similar to my my to my mastermind um it's it's gonna be free at first and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to onboard a bunch of members and then I'm going to start having folks pay for this, CEOs, founders, and whoever wants one to accomplish something that is heroic and to get the certification. These videos are free, they're service. These CEO edition though, they're really next level. They're really fucking next level. I'll explain why after the, this video. It's not forget to check the bar first. 850. This ink is itching my fucking arm. 
we all get non-toxic fucking pen, pens next time. Not that I'll die or anything. So, my God, my arm is small, man. Been following OMAD diet since, uh, it's really fucking small. Um, I'll, I'll do the bulking up thing, by the way. Uh, this will be an interesting before and after picture. Um, why is this certified grit thing interesting? What, what is it different from these videos? Well, there's music for one, two, there's constant mindset advice from me. Constant, constant, constant. Second, we personalize the advice for you. Okay. So once, I, I think w one of the first um, workouts and uh, entrance workouts like this one are very underappreciated in the business world. They are the best thing ever for a CEO. They're the number one determinant of success period that I've seen among CEOs after interviewing more than a thousand of them. This is very significant right there. Cheers to that. Second, these workouts, your brain is really susceptible when you're during them. So usually I listen to an audiobook, right? Um, that will tell me good stuff. My brain is on mad serotonin right now. And basically, I'm really su suggestible. Uh, the data can get really deep in my brain and it will be solidified forever. So the neurons, I mean, they, they open up, right? Um, and I, I mean, yeah, I could potentially point to the science behind that, but they're, they're, they're open for suggestions. They're open for introduction of new signals, right? Data bits. And then they solidify after this workout. Now, me speaking to you right now is me giving advice to myself. It's, it's even better than listening to something, right? It's like teaching. Um, but yeah, more, more on that later. So during that workout, I give you advice on what to do, what not to do. Um, and I personalize it to you, right? So I have you fill a form before. Uh, hopefully you're a member of my masterminds too, so I know you uh, quite well. And when you're in pain, I remind you of your why, your North Star, whether that's your daughter, whether that's um, your, your mom, whether that's a friend, whether that is doing good, you know, anything that drives you. Remind you of your goals as well. I make you accountable. And I'll call you a bitch if you're not doing your push-ups because if you can't do push-ups, how will you be able to crunch in that hard business goal? Wife texted me, we're back. We're, let's see here, 850 push ups in. Almost done. Now, I'm going to go give the dog some water after that one. I think they... Actually, I'm going to do that right now. Being a good dad. Giving dogs water. Be back. back responsibilities 
We're gonna crunch for the legendary 900. And then I'm gonna tell you about the second cause of the day. Oh, I'm doing that crazy shit. <laughs> So, talking about why. The first cause, guys, people shitting water. People drinking that shit water. And trust me, guys, this is no bullshit. I've had a second. Um, actually, I'm going to feature them right now. Um, I just forgot their name, so that's a problem. I'm just going to second nonprofit this week. By the way, I'm going to do that every week, straight up. Um, accountability right there. More of that. More fucking that. Um, chest in slums. And the guy also told me that people would drink black water. What is black water? It's shit water. In this fishing village in Africa. Um, shout out to the, found, the founder of Chest in Slums Africa. Chest in Slums Africa, they teach um, kids how to play chess so that these kids can have... The self of confidence, the self of self, um, the self, uh, a sense of knowing that you can excel and improve at something when school is definitely not that, a bunch of them drop out, you know, uh, they don't have something to measure. It's important to have something to measure in life. And if they're good at chess, it's not necessarily that they'll become a grandmaster, right? Uh, they don't have the same equal chance as other kids, let's say a kid from London, um, but they will become something. Might start a business, you know. That's super important. Anyway, um, the second one before I introduce that one. So theoretically, it's four causes today. Second one is called girls, girls who chronically rock. Okay, girls who chronically rock was quite cool because it's um, girls, and uh, it's by a black business owner. I have a lot of respect for her. Uh, she basically had a clothing company and so forth. And she was af affected by muscle uh, dystrophy. So imagine she's walking in this parking lot and she fucking drops, you know. The, the leg, it gives up. And her family and a stranger needs to pick her back up, you know. And she's like, what the fuck is that? And it's muscle dystrophy. So am I bitching right now? Am I bitching that? You know, oh, I feel pain. Oh, you know. I'm so cool, I'm using my body. Well, a bunch of people, they don't have fucking muscles. Their muscles are fucked up. Basically, their, their nervous system is not connecting adequately. It's an autoimmune system, right? So it's your body fucking with your own body. It's like Mother Nature deciding that, yo, know, humans can't scale. Um, just like, yeah, being cruel, right? Um, I mean, cruel is a human notion as well. But anyway, point is, why am I whining about this muscle pain when some people don't even have the control on these muscles, right? So girls who chronically rock is, yeah, girls with a chronic autoimmune uh, sort of disease, multiple sclerosis, for example, um, or is it? I think it's, no, it's focused on muscle dystrophy, so forget that last part. Point is, it helps uh, these girls try to get the resemblance of a normal life, right? For example, I um, believe it's Keisha, uh, I think uh, the founder of the company, his name, it's been a while, I speak to 15 CEOs a day, so pardon me on that. And she has a swimming pool, right? So she can practice in her own backyard and she's hell of an entrepreneur really like michael with her shout out to girls who chronically rock
can get easier. Nine hundred fifty. How did this start? It started in fucking Puebla, Mexico. It was broke as shit. Still am to some extent for multiple reasons. I'll get into, but picture a guy betting on humans and these humans not delivering. Long story short, um, beginning of this year was not easy uh, financially. And I'm being a bitch right now because this poor situation of mine is probably, I'm gonna try to hurry up by the way because my battery's lowing, but more on that later. Um, yeah, my, my poor is like the ultra wealthy of a bunch of people. Um, anyway, I was being a bitch basically, and I thought, why not strain myself? Why not strain myself, you know? So I was like, okay, I don't have cash for an Iron Man. An Iron Man costs between um, 5 to 15K, let's call it that way. Um, I was at home, I had my cell phone, I had my YouTube channel. I had this live function, and I'm like, yeah, let's, uh, let's fucking record. And here we go. Certified Grit was born. That's Certified Grit right there. Certified Grit. And basically, here I am, 950 push-ups. About to crunch the mythical, artifactal 1K. Yeah. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna crunch these crunches faster. The problem with crunches is that <clears throat> on paper they look easy, right? 500 jackknife crunches. So it's, it's 600. Um, and you know what they are. Um, except when your abs begin cramping up. So every muscle, one realization I had from doing these ultra hits exercise, I'm just beginning my career in that area. Is that every muscle behaves a certain way. Have they have their own composure. They're made to fire up in some ways. And there's different challenges with each exercise, you know? So for example, the, the squats, I needed to watch out for my, um, my ankle here. I'll try to hurry up by the way, because battery's about to die, unless I find a charger. Solution finding 101. And, and yeah, uh, it's the, the crunches are easy. But yeah, if I cramp up, it's pretty dramatic. It, yeah, cramping up is, is not cool. Hopefully I won't. Uh, I won't. Oh, the charger here, that's not it. Mm, evaluate this, it's full bar, bar I think I'll be able to do it uh, without charging. Heart rate on that. Oh, Whew. ah, it's really rapid for me as well. Like oxygen to the brain. Um, one of the worst pain, guys. I'm sorry to feel right now. Uh, it's it's like two on ten, right? It's not even materialized, right? 
but it's stomach pain in my case. Uh, you may ask why. Is it the same among a lot of people? No, it's not. Uh, is it because I taught, I was taught that having stomach pain is bad and shitting yourself is bad and no, bad boy, don't shit yourself. Maybe. Is it because my gut microbiome is fucked? Maybe. It's not that fucked by the way, I've been working on it. Anyway, there's levels of pain, right? Another pretty bad one is when you break something, when you rupture a muscle. Anyway, that I want to avoid when I'm in endurance events. I want to watch how I put stuff in my stomach. So now I'm going to drink a bit more tea. Because the tea is safe, you know. It's probably the, the protein and or the mix, actually. So one classic mistake that I'm doing right now is mixing stuff. You know, like uh, alcoholics, what they say, don't, mi don't mix. <laughs> uh, it's the same for biohackers, don't mix too much. So without further ado, let's finish this up. I will also bring these things to this table here so I can crunch the crunch. The plan with the crunch, I'm going to attempt uh, 100 straight up. Uh, I might regret, uh, actually, let's start slow. Let's go with 50, evaluate how my, how my body feels and, uh, and roll with that. So all the equipment is on the table. I'm gonna finish my push-up goal. I am really, really proud of myself. I am one hour, 10 minutes in on time as well. Or am I? Surely I'm not. I'm one hour, uh, 40 minutes in. So almost on time here. crunching the crunches so stay tuned for the great finale oh and the pen is fucking with me maybe because it's a sweat uh, all right, well, do I have something to say before I begin the crunches? I've said pretty much everything on the, the crunches, what am I expecting and so forth. You know, this level of, you know, being able to look at your body from a third person is acquired, you know, so don't think this should come in natural, like talk out loud about your your feelings and situation when you're in these ultra endurance events. Um, it does come though, and it does help to be honest. It's like a very realistic down to earth approach. It's not, it's not full of shit. After sometimes you, you have your nervous system understand that stress Stress is this thing, you know, and uh, it stops stressing after some time because the pervasive thing is that when you stress, when you're like, fuck, am I going to finish this race? You generate cortisol. When you generate cortisol, in my case, I feel in my gut. My gut starts being sloshy. Bad, bad stuff starts happening. <laughs> Oh, that feels that feels good. <laughs> you 
these are slower as you can notice Okay, so fucking field report on that one. Um, they're harder than I thought, obviously. We're not uh, gonna go with the 100, we're gonna go slow, like we started doing. So, if you remember guys, I started, uh, I started saying right that you never know what to expect. You can make plans, but these plans in real life, like this pen dying on me. Oh, it's up now. Um, life always shows up, you know? Life always shows up. You don't have control on anything oh i want this to be easy no it's not how it works um to some degree you can project to calm your cortisol now but these fucking 600 crunches um jackknife crunches they're no walk in the fucking park they're gonna be hard um why what pain am i feeling first my legs my quads when I'm raising them, it's painful. Second, the stomach is burping. From the green tea, from the protein, which gave me energy, but now it's in digestion. And yeah, these things are slower. It's not like the fucking push-ups and the, the squats that I did, you know, they were slower.
Holy shit, okay. So that is hard. Um, didn't expect that. And my brain is struggling to find the pen. 400 jackknife crunch in. And for that part, I'm gonna tell you the struggle that, I mean, it's funny, right? You always see something on screen as the watchers of that video. By the way, the video might go off at any time by now because the battery is low. So you might not have the chance to see me and witness this pain live. Um, well, I guess I do that alone in my pain cave without the zero viewers. Um, okay, so yeah, these are way slower and harder. And I was 25 in and then my brain was like, yeah, we're gonna stop, you know? We're gonna stop. But there's implications to that, you know? And there's deeper mental calculus at play here. In that case, um, the calculus was like, no, you probably have more. There's a stomach pain, there's a neck pain as well. So, you see it, it sometimes you may look at my podcast video and I have a strong neck and that's because of these abs that I do. Um, having a beautiful neck on camera is important. I used to have no neck uh, in high school because I was all like trappy muscly um and then the implications were okay we can't go 25 because else we'll slow down and remember the earlier advice that i said on adaptation maybe i did that set too quick also like i said earlier every muscle is different right so maybe i should go with a bit longer pauses for these i finished very strong and that's a the good point there i and that is the whole point. The body, it takes the rhythm, you know, and uh, that's the hypothesis here. And yeah, maybe take a bit more breath. Feel good, I still feel tired too. But um, yeah, let's see how the next set goes and the hypothesis does the, that the next 50 will um, be easier and I, my body will take a rhythm of some kind. Let's see how that goes. Ah, the tea is delicious though. here we go again all right so funny story for you guys okay so these ads are fucking throttle that's one so my brain again with the same story at at the 
at the 25 mark. Uh, maybe it's the digestion or something. These are like these powerful bacteria residing in your gut that are telling you you need to stop, you know. I'm 150 in. I'm uh, a very uh, strong momentum behind me. Mm -hmm. I started the series and uh, basically uh, my watch rang, you've heard it. And then it's funny because I was thinking of actually watching it and uh, to, to check the calories. Let's see how much calories. Almost a thousand calories and we are almost two hours in, you know, so a bit back on time. And again, at the 25 mark, my brain is like, yeah, we need to stop. And then even worse, right? And this is like my gut. I know that it's my gut kicking in. It's like the bacteria, these fucking aliens living in your guts and making decisions for you. They told me, oh, we should stop, you know, literally. Maybe we should abandon that. And that's like the self-pity power that they have. When you have self-pity, you know you're fucking done. So I told them to shut the fuck up and to continue. And yes, after 25, it gets easier. That's a fact. I also like look at something in the ceiling. I try to focus on one thing because if you don't focus, you know, you start focusing on the wrong things. Thoughts, you know, these dumb idiot things thoughts that are not even yours these fucking bacteria is coming from god knows where um and yeah i just continued and crunched it you know so one thing is that i have these pants a bit annoying um but yeah looking at something at, on the ceiling is quite good um Maybe I should even have started with 25, but you know, we're down with the 50. And I'm gonna drink a bit more water here in the hopes that my gut starts behaving and stop seeing me to do idiot things. By the way, this iWatch is telling me, did you finish the workout because the heart rate is lower? Uh, doesn't mean that it's easier, right? It's a totally different type of pain. And I told you uh, before this workout that my highest pain is stomach related one. So. Alright, so it's not even abs pain at this point, it's fucking floor pain. Um, so I'm gonna find a cushion or something to 
not annihilate my my bums. Uh, where can I find that? Ten percent battery. If I found this, I don't think it's gonna do. Right. I think I found something better. So we are two hundred crunches in. I think if I fix like the back pain, or maybe that's my brain really bitching out at the end of that workout. That could be a probability. So let's hope that the back is better. And finish up our thoughts. So let's test the theory here. That's way better. Alright, so quad getting up on the uh, even lift my legs. We are 250 in, so half. Um, need to change boxer because they're shaking the fuck out of my back. That's one. And two, we used to have a problem because my quads are not going up anymore. Um, I'll give them energy with the, this protein shake. So, what I'm saying here, guys, is that it's problem by problem. You fix one at a time. One at a fucking time. So, changing here. I'll be changing shoes as well on this final 
attempt to greatness. One thing at a time. That should be good. If I change two things here, if I remove my shoes, should diminish the friction and should diminish the weight as well. For my quads, I'll be giving them more energy with the protein and the tea. And let's see how that goes. But yeah, I'm feeling the body is starting to bitch out, but that's okay. That was a great effort. What I might do is uh, reduce, reduce the number to, let's do some quick calculations here. So we're 250 in, I need to do 600. Let's say that my next rep is 50. That would, that would lead to uh, 300 more, right? What I can do is, uh, is reduce to, yeah, let's say 30. And I'll have 10 of 30 to do, which is less stringent on the body and the quads. Maybe like more recovery for quads so that we can finish it, this up on false, on beauty. But before we do that, more suffering. And then I can tell you about the third organism that I am sponsoring today, uh, which is also very interesting. So hopefully the phone doesn't die. I don't think it will, 10%. That's crunches. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, you saw an attempt of me trying to get up on my own abs. Not fucking possible. At the end of this, at the end of this craziness. All right, so we're three, 300 deep. Um, I will do 10 more of 30. Um, or will I? Oh, I think I'm not going to do 30. I'm going to go for the full fucking thing. Um, yeah, 300. So another line of six there. Because that one wasn't that hard. It was way easier. Um, so the third organism that I'm sponsoring today is uh, Arthritis New Zealand. So... Why New Zealand, Charles? Well, uh, truth is any organization anywhere in the world that's doing good is doing good for me. It's, uh, it's, it's not even about me also. Um, but like the first thesis, right? Like we're all one in this world, even with the distance apart. You know, if you believe in the butterfly effect, you will understand that 
doing good anywhere in the world is doing good in your own heart and it will come back to you but if I don't care about me about this for a second here um, yeah it's like they do good in New Zealand you know and uh, any human that is doing good is and has my support so arthritis arthritis I have an uncle that has arthritis I actually sent him a video today um, it's yeah it's my favorite uncle he's a very funny guy he's the brother of my dad and you know irish tough guy sort of ex-engineer excels guy very charismatic very confident very um manly you know like uh head always high looking good and uh it's you know it's it i have a lot of him and me just like i have a lot of my dad me genetically i have a lot of my mom um, I have my grand uh, dad that was a dentist also in me anyway long story short he has arthritis he sent me some money for my wedding because he couldn't be here um, this year and I sent him a video and uh, miss him um, he has some health problem and arthritis is really debilitating so again coming back to the body you know why I'm doing this workout in part today is because folks normally feel the pain that I feel uh, without doing any sports, you know, articulation, pain, gout, uh, my dad has gout, so um, that's why my heart is with them, and that's why I will shut up, and I will crunch another series in their honor, and uh, I will feel their pain. can't even get up pain is omnipresent and we're almost fucking there guys <clears throat> two hour ten minutes in way longer than I thought um, I think last time I did two ho two hours but I did like uh, less less series uh, These people spraying the eyes with uh, arthritis is just like getting out of bed, sitting in a chair to eat, try to enjoy your breakfast while you're in pain. You know, take a bunch of pills, have these pills fuck with your brain, being a shadow of your fucking self, you know? Um, same, same for uh, muscle dystrophy, you know? It's really debilitating is the word um and yeah it's, it's if i try to to get the feeling is like yeah you're in a decline on a daily basis and i mean what i would at this point i'd obviously lie to myself you know and just uh 
go on like if it was nothing and I doubled the effort, I doubled the, the work, I doubled the, the brain power, but fuck, this is hard, man. Um, so that's why I donate to, to this cause, that's why I donate to girls who chronically rock and so should you. And uh, chess in slums Africa. Um, by the way, I need to donate to them. I haven't yet. So these are great organisms, guys. And when you're in pain, like I am right now, I mean, this is nothing compared, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing compared. But it gives you a purpose to crunch yet another series. <laughs> the cause guys fucking forgot to write down the last one <sighs> yeah that at this point oh shit I just fucked up the pen um, at this point, you know, like I'm in the two, two hour 15 mark, 1,100 calories. Heart rate is normal under that one. It's actually very low. Um, almost like in recovery mode, sort of. And it's, that's a bunking stage, you know. That's why I have my cookies. I won't, uh. Probably won't eat them, you know, I just, uh, I'll tough it out because it's just like three series. Um, but let's say that I have another exercise after that, I'd have to eat my cookies because I'm bunking out. I'm low on sugar. It's like, uh, it's like a zombie state, you know, I don't even have like more ideas or more motivation for you. It's like, it's gone, you know, <laughs> uh, that's a bunking stage. Uh, bunking stage, if you want to be scientific about it. It happens, yeah, around the 1,100 or 1,200 calorie mark. Um, I had my meal quite early today, uh, so I didn't eat before that, which is good because the stomach, it fucks with me, like I told you earlier, but yeah. Do I have like more wisdom at this point? <sighs> Keep a sip of tea. Um, and I'll drink some water. I drink about like, shit, two liters of water, if not more, if you don't count the protein and um, the tea. My advice at this point, guys, is don't let the brain fuck with you. Um, when he's like, ah, oh, your back hurts uh, for you. By the way, I'll put my boxers under 
this. Which one is that? Yeah, both are like not soft, but. Brain will always very fuck with you. Mm. Or stomach. Um, I often talk about the, the heart, uh, gut, and brain. At this point, you know, the gut is sort of fucking with myself. He's like, one, feed me. Second, he was like, what the fuck is this protein that, you, that you're giving me, you know? Um, that's where you need to connect with the heart. Because the brain is not strong enough to just rationalize stuff, you know? Oh, there's only 150 left and so forth. You need to have a cause to finish this. And I will again circle back to um, the the last, uh, the, these four causes that I am promoting today and remind myself that my purpose on this planet Earth is way greater than myself and my suffering is worth every single minute of it. Alright, so a couple of things here. First, I farted. Gut is digesting. Um, second, anything on a grand scale, guys. If you look at the dumb human brain, like a billion dollar, right? Oh shit. In the startup game, I'm actually losing money on a daily basis. Not my case, by the way, but just like an example here. Um, but it was the case many times in my career. How the fuck am I going to reach a billion? Guess what, idiot? You're not. Um, on this time and scale of things, right? If you send a signal to your brain that, yo, how can I do 2,100 jump squats 1,100 push-ups and 600 jackknife crunches and 500 in, by the way, only on 100 left. It seems like, dude, this is impossible. Why? Because the brain is dumb. The brain, it's a simplification machine. It will, it will pack all of this up together in the shortest time frame possible. And the brain is sort of banned at time frames. So it's like everything, everywhere, all, all at once. That's the brain. Is not good at thinking over 10 years, over 20 years, over an extended period of time, right? Like right now, I'm two hours 20 in. My brain, it knows, generally speaking, on how to think in three minutes, right? Um, by the way, I'm going to put something else on my ass as it's fucking chafing. Um, but when you crunch all of this here that I have on my arm as a as war paint, um, it's doable. Everything on a long scale, guys, is doable. That's why I don't feel, I mean, it might feel egocentric or megalomaniac for me to say that I'll be a trillionaire, but 
is it really or is it very deep wisdom from knowing that i can do anything over a long scale of time and if i have a shot at longevity and attempting at not dying what will be a trillion dollar even back then you know actually that's why this is somewhat of a stupid goal because money will inflate and who knows maybe a trillion dollar will be worth one dollar or maybe once i have a trillion money isn't worth anything and it's just a construct so it's kind of a stupid goal it's, it's kind of a lazy goal it's kind of a low iq goal it's very simplistic but it does help my brain it puts my brain in some specific direction has other goals to anyway the point is you can accomplish anything over the the longer scale of things and that's why these nonprofits that I'm supporting, I think they can accomplish a lot. I vetted them personally on my podcast. I've spoken to them. Um, I'll start with the first two. And after the next rep, I'll go with the, the final two. But the, the first two, I remind you, um, the first one is called Zulu. So they help solve the water uh, sanitation crisis. So bathrooms around the world, you don't realize it, but people in other parts of the world shit in the street. And that is cool. But if you live with other humans and in a tight space, while well, you pretty much contaminate any, everyone, right? It's kind of a crab in the bucket mentality or just like no awareness of your surroundings, no education. And that's what they're helping with. The second one... Um, chess in slums africa is yeah it's like as the name says right it's like top leads my company what we do we bring you top leads i feel my stomach is chirping by the way so um i might fart again warning 